I have always been a pyromaniac. Gunpowder is very significant and unusual. I mean, who doesn't love playing with gunpowder, honestly? It's like 4th of July every day. Just fire. I originally started off as an oil painter major, going through a whole bunch of classes. I really liked mixed media, printmaking, and just experimenting with everything. Got me to experiment with gunpowder. Why not? So the reason I use fire is everyone thinks it's dangerous which it is, I've had my fair share of burns and, and scars, and I have all 10 fingers still, so I'm good there. But the aspect of using what you think is not a medium for artwork is what really intrigues people and it intrigues me. There's kind of a secret to my process, and I learned after many experiments putting pressure on gunpowder is what actually adheres the smoke into the paper and creates the image. It's like Christmas every day. I just love trying to control something that can't be controlled. Looks good. Just clean it up a little bit. I clean these really well when I'm framing them because I don't like to see the soot still in, enclosed in the glass. When I first started my gunpowder, it was just abstract. I really wanted to actually make an image. I mainly do landscape pieces. I enjoy actually going to the locations and taking my own photographs. One of my favorite places in the city is the Stone Arch Bridge. I have an obsession with taking images of bridges, and it's just the structure, the smooth lines. I know when I look at a photo, yes, that's gonna work. No, that's not gonna work. Because I, I see the straight lines, I see the dramatic effect it's gonna have, um, and the story it's gonna tell. I am weeding the vinyl. It is cut out in a certain way that I have to slowly peel the image away. And I'm keeping anything that is purple or the actual vinyl, that is what's gonna be protected from the, the flames and smoke. And that's essentially what gives me my negative image. So the images are taken from a photograph and then I have to render them in a way that I know it's gonna work for gunpowder. I do have a, a partner in crime. They have actual laser cutters that help me uh, produce the images. The reason I mainly use landscapes, it's something that just looks dramatic. I do the city skyline of Minneapolis, and it kind of tells a story. It looks like the city's on fire, and people really like that aspect of my artwork tells a story. I recently got accepted to be one of the 34 artists that will be represented in the new U.S. Bank Stadium for the Minnesota Vikings. Um, I'm very honored to have that. I don't work with a lot of prints. I like the aspect of being able to repeat the image that I have, but the actual burn marks, my ink marks, they are always different. I can never repeat. 
And so it's, it's always an original, unique piece. Hey, it worked great. Yes. I know I'm not the first to, you know, use gunpowder, but I want gunpowder and fire and smoke to be a new exciting medium that's going to lead to people experimenting. When I'm 70, I want to look back and I want to be the girl that's known as the gunpowder girl. Yeah.